For my week 7, I attended this one called Collecting Cultures. We got to read over manuscripts and also early printed books, which was really interesting because it was the actual artifacts. And we got to touch them with our bare hands. So I was like, wow, oh my god, I can't believe I'm touching something from the medieval times. And, um, I believe this is across every group, but we got this really cute notebook. But yeah, I had like some of my notes from lectures and also some notes that I took when we went to visit um, museums and stuff. The first day of our week 7, we got to visit the Asian Civilization Museum. This scholar exhibition was a room where they put like the mandatory objects that would be seen usually in a Chinese scholar's study. For example, um, the calligraphy brush, the ink tablet, and the ink blocks. Another one was the contemporary gallery where um, we saw a lot of Chinese calligraphy exhibitions. It really shows um, the level of education and intelligent discourse. We had this manuscript show and tell kind of session and we got to see manuscripts so we got to really feel the parchment paper flip it around very carefully and then really see how it's so delicate and then the handwriting it was very difficult to read because of the specific type of gothic font that was used back in the medieval times but um, it was also exactly why um, I really personally admire those um, scribes who are able to copy these scripts because in the afternoon session we actually got to write our own manuscripts with a feather quill and ink on parchment paper and they are so difficult. The props gave us um, three versions. At one point I realized this font was not working out so I had to switch to another one but it turned out pretty nice. I wouldn't say it's extremely amazing but I am quite proud of myself for, for that. Um, yeah and then um, that really showed us how much time and effort went into making these manuscripts. We got to do this letter press printing workshop. We would choose the letters and then the blocks one by one. We would put them onto the tray and just line them out. The mirrored version of it so that when you put it on and then you print it out, you put the ink over it and then you flip it over, it is the right direction. I thought a lot about what message I wanted to do, but then like, it's not with a really simple and like easy one, just love yourself and I think even though it's a very easy message, it also serves as a personal reminder for myself, which is why I put it in my room. For Collecting Cultures, our final project was to curate an exhibition case. So my group, our exhibition case was about how typefaces evolved over time. My group members and I put our chosen objects into our exhibition case. We also wrote these small um, pieces of descriptions about each object and I guess that was a slight taste of what curating was about even though it's a really really novice level. It was actually pretty interesting to um, plan this and um, actually think about how to shape the descriptions in the exhibition case so that even people who don't have any professional knowledge about manuscripts or typefaces or uh, printed text will still understand what we're trying to say. Overall, I really enjoyed the week 7. It really, really opened my eyes to some other new ideas and thoughts about why Physical books are still extremely important in this era where we do our readings on iPads and everything's digitalized. We read the news on our phones, on our tablets and whatever. But also, um, being a student at Yale New West College, in a sense, I am also collecting cultures here. Because here, so many students have very, very diverse cultural backgrounds. When I am interacting and talking to other people, I'm talking to one person, but I am simultaneously interacting with two or three cultures within that one person itself, which is really, really interesting and something I didn't expect that I would be able to gain access to before I came to Yale New West College. And I just find out some super interesting things about them. And that's how I'm collecting cultures in my daily life here at Yale New West College.